International Labor Day protests were seen around the world, but nowhere perhaps did they turn as ugly as they did in France, in Paris, in Lyon, Nantes and several other cities. Anger against the new pension reforms took on vicious dimensions on the streets. In Paris, police clashed with black-clad protesters and were pelted with projectiles. More workers joined the union-led march that took place at the central place, De La Republic. Unrest also erupted in Lyon, where several vehicles were set ablaze and business premises were trashed as well. In Western France, a May Day march in the French city of Nantes descended into chaos, to say the least, as protesters torched shops and charged official buildings as well. Fire broke out in an administrative building. Take a look. Ah, mais la suite, euh, tant que la réforme ne sera pas retirée, on continuera. Donc euh, voilà. Nous, tout ce qu'on veut, c'est qu'il qu abdique et puis qu'il retire sa réforme. Sa réforme. Voilà. A Labour Day rally in France was another opportunity for opponents of the pension reform law to vent their anger against President Macron. Moi, je suis plus déterminé que jamais. Macron, 4 ans s'il faut, bah 4 ans, on y va. Pas de problème, je suis là. Et on sera encore nombreux à être là. Ça, euh, on gagnera à la fin, j'en suis convaincu. J'en suis convaincu. Macron's government, which lacks a majority in the parliament, rammed the pension legislation without a final vote. A move that drove his popularity to record lows. Seen during the Yellow West crisis of 2018-19, Despite the opposition, the French president maintains that this reform is need to show up the pension system. 